Hey guys, Matt here. Thanks for listening. Just wanted to give you a heads up that in this episode, there is some background noise as it was recorded while driving down the road. Welcome to the Sowing Seed Podcast. One guy's thoughts on family, faith, farming, and financial freedom. Now, here's your host who once nicknamed his Java Chip Frappuccino Church so he could say he went to church nearly every day, Matt Miller. Nectarines are next. I'm down in the Houston area for about a day and a half getting some work done in some schools down here. And as I was on the road yesterday heading down this way, I got a couple pictures from my wife who she and my daughters and my sister-in-law and um, some other family members have been deep into the apricot processing over the last couple of days as we finish up processing the massive harvest from the two apricot trees that we've had this year. And the pictures were of a couple of nectarines that Amy pulled from our lone nectarine tree. You know, quite honestly, I'd completely forgotten about the fact that we've got nectarines and have been spending so much time talking about the blackberries and the apricots and the peaches and the mulberries and that type of thing. But so now we've got a nectarine harvest coming in the next week or two. Fairly small compared to the apricots, but still even more variety course the peaches will follow and then we do have a lone pear tree that that we'll be able to harvest something from later on in the summer but I wanted to utilize the example of the nectarines just to encourage you no matter where you live whether you've got some acreage like we do whether you live in the city if you've got some land man plant a couple of fruit trees. There is nothing more gratifying than planting those trees, tending them over a couple of years time, watering them, etc. But then once they're established, reaping the harvest, reaping the rewards year after year after year after year. It takes faith the ability to think longer term and to realize that the work you're doing is not for today, but it's for several years down the road. But if you're willing to do it, it is so, so gratifying to produce a crop, to produce a harvest that you know exactly where it came from You would know exactly what has been done to it. Chemicals or no chemicals, etc. Nothing fresher and nothing better for you. And along the way, learn some patience and be able to completely and totally marvel in God's glory, in his blessings, and in the amazing world that we're blessed to be a part of. The miracle of that small tree that came from an even smaller seed, then in years time producing hundreds if not thousands of fruit and seeds. Still completely and totally amazing. God bless you guys. Thanks for listening. Check out our website, SowingSeed.net, the Sowing Seed channel on YouTube. And if you got something out of today's podcast, give us a five-star review on your podcast player of choice. Until next time, go plant the seed you need to succeed.